Hi, welcome to Crime Scene and Tech Tips, Amplified Keys. Hey, that's a passive key, passive keyless entry on this car. Look, no hands. Whenever that key is just outside the car, all I have to do is touch the door handle and the car will open. So, what, what does that mean for the bad guys? Well, the bad guys, they've got a little device that's actually a reader and retransmitter. So this character is going from driveway to driveway in this neighborhood in southwest Oklahoma City. And he's using this device to read the keys in the house. So when he pushes the button and he touches the door handle, uh, watch when the lights come on. And you'll notice, dink, there the, he's in the truck. So he read the keys that are in the house and re-amplified and retransmitted that code standing next to the door and the door open. So, we got another guy down on the south side. This is near uh, I-35, 85th Street. And uh, again, this guy's going from driveway to driveway. He's got a backpack and he's got a device in his hand. So as he makes his way from driveway to driveway, he touches a door handle, pushes a button, you can see the transmitter right there in his hand. That's what opened the car. He's reading the keys in the house, getting into the car, and this guy is pretty, pretty wise. He's, as he enters these cars, he doesn't disturb much. If he can find something of value and remove it from the car, that's all he does. And to throw the homeowner, the car owner, uh, a little bit, he even gets out of the car and verifies that the car is locked when he's completed his task. So what? why would anybody think that somebody's been in this car when they come out the next morning, it's locked, you jump in it, you take off to work, and you reach back for your iPad and it's not there? Well, that's, you know, you wouldn't even know that somebody's been in your car because it's been locked up. So got another uh, character down on in uh, the Midwest City area, and again, he had entered a car nearby. This is another car that happened to be in front of a video camera. And he's going from car to car in this neighborhood. Look, there's a device in his hand. And he's not breaking into anything. And he's he's using that device to see if I gotta think he's trying to open these car doors by reading the keys in the house. So hey, we got a high tech problem. What is a high tech solution? Well, maybe it's a tin can. If we can secure our key in a tin can, instead of just throwing them on the counter, we put them in a tin can if we have to park our car outside. We're verifying that no radiation is getting out of that can by trying to unlock our car with the keys in the can. So that means if it can't get out of the can to unlock my car, then it also can't be read by these transmitters that are amplifying the signal reading the keys in the house and amplifying the signal and opening the car. So all cans work, right? Well, maybe not. Here's one and opens right up. That is, uh, I believe that is an Altoids can. Here's a Secrets can. Let's see if it works any different. Well, let's try it. So, hey, will that device that they're using in the driveway, will it be able to read my keys sitting in the house in this can? Well, I don't think so because the code, the signal's not getting out of the can. I can't get into my car, so I'm going to have to say that's probably going to be a pretty secure way of leaving the keys in the house. Hey, thanks for joining us on Tech Tips. I hope you'll join Crime Scene today. It's free. Be part of the solution.